This house was built in 1886, 1888, and we are trying to preserve this older portion of the house. This tree is a problem. This tree's going out, going down today. My diet is ruined. <laughs> I hope you're happy. <laughs> we have a surprise for you, Mim Kitty. Okay, Ronnie used to cut trees down for a living, and uh, he, uh, he knows how to use one of these. We just picked up a new Husqvarna. I guess that's how you say it. Hus yep. Husqvarna. Husqvarna. Um, and this tree this morning is going down. This tree has a story, and I'll tell you a little bit later, um, with my grandma's house, the haunted house. And uh, this house has a story, so much story. But uh, today marks the, the first day that we actually start really making an impact on this property, changing things up. This Look tree is going down. That's exciting. <laughs> That's new toys, man. Yeah. As you can see, this tree is a huge asset to the house because it's shade, but it's also a huge liability in that it is touching the foundation right underneath of here. Look at this. That is, that is growing, right? next to the foundation and it's already started cracking it out and this house was built in 1880 i believe 6 1886 1888 and we are trying to preserve this older portion of the house because it's uh, because it is so old and uh, those cracks right there are indicators that this tree is a problem this tree's going out going down today this is proof of us How was it, girls? It was fun and a little squishy because we all slept on the same bed. You were a little squished. That's the best way to have a sleepover, right? That's true. <laughs> Did you guys get any sleep? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Barely. We couldn't fall asleep till like one. Okay. <laughs> Miley's sister. Shoes on, Lou. Let's go. Problems? Danielle and I woke up a lot later than we had hoped we would. I set my alarm for 8 a.m. and 8.30 and 8.45 and I slept through all three. And we didn't even stay up that late. We went to bed at like midnight. But I guess we were tired. And we've got to go up, meet our parents. We've got like a three hour, three hour drive to go meet my parents. We're finally on the road. Finally. It was hard to get out of bed this morning. <laughs> it was really hard. But, but slept, slept through our alarms. So I didn't set any alarms, so I slept through Allie's alarms. We were exhausted. I don't know why we didn't go to bed that late. Mm -hmm. But we made it. We're on the road. Now we have three hours until we get to our destination. This has been like so strange for me. I haven't ever been on a trip with the little girls and I, it's not really a trip with just the little girls, but in a hotel room by myself with just the little girls. It's been fun to sit and listen to them talk and chat with them and now it's time to go find the boys because I miss those little guys. Did you miss me? Huh? Uh. Did you miss me? Yeah. You did? Mm -hmm. I missed you too. I got here and he said, wait, I thought you were staying all night. It's daytime, didn't you know? The night is over. Did you actually sleep last night? Yeah, I kind of fell off my the couch though when I was sleeping. <laughs> because I was sleeping on the one um, person couch. And then you fell off? Mm -hmm. Did you bonk? No. Oh, good. <laughs> Only my legs. 
touch the ground. Nice. What's your plan for today? What are you going to do today? Don't... Maybe play some video games. No, we don't play video games when the sun's up. Me and Wayne do it. No. No. Yeah, we do. Did you know that to, last night was your first time in a long, 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 long time sleeping somewhere without me? A long time, and you did it. Good job. Mm, okay, let's get dressed. Don't, <laughs> no, I don't want you to you. lick me. Yes, he's trying to lick me. <laughs> and guess what else is, <laughs> you know what else is so cool? You and Wayne and Az all have the same shirt to wear today. You guys are gonna be <laughs> Whoa, dude! You're getting good at those. Are you bored of being one of the big girls? You gotta go play. <laughs> you don't want to do anything. It's hard when you're to that stage where you're not a big person yet. You're still small. You're still a little girl, huh? Not all grown up. You still want to play and have fun and do things. You don't just want to sit and talk like the big kids, huh? What? What's wrong? Huh? Nothing. Oh. You're just quiet. Are you tired? Yeah. <laughs> Lizzie's still small and wants to do fun things, and Savannah's still small, but she's getting in to be a big kid, and when she's around her cousins and stuff, she's too big to play. So. Because he's a little bored. Now that we have most of the tree down, we have to now get close to the house without sending any branches through the roof. And so there's also some power lines, not power lines, some, uh, they're probably cable and, and uh, looks like mm, probably phone lines that are going through here too that are tangled, intertwined with the tree branch. Let's see if we can get those down without ruining anything. You gonna do it? Oh man. Okay, so. Billy is very openly scared of heights, but he also wants to try new things. And so this right here is how people, this is it. This is how you get over your anxieties. Wow. Me and Billy, we're about, what would you say, Bill? 15 feet? About 15 feet off the ground right now. This is the roof of the haunted house is what Johnny's calling it. This is all the tree. That tree right there used to come completely all the way, I mean, clear up where we're at and reach into that tree. It was overgrown, it's pushing on the foundation. All right, Bill, what's your thoughts, buddy? It's awesome. It's a change. Can't believe it, yeah. Billy's, Billy's currently. Went quick. Probably, we're probably 35 feet in the air right now in a bucket truck. So, this is Billy's first time being in a bucket truck. Did it like a champ. Wasn't even scared. We're just up here goofing off. Here. There's Johnny down there in the shade still. He's still hanging out in the shade, making sure we're getting the right shot. So, he's doing good. He's a good supervisor. He was saying a few years ago he would have never even thought about it. Just, nope, not going to happen. He's just trying to experience new things, and so it's really cool. And I don't know, um, I'm, I'm gonna tell like really quick here what's going on with this house. So this house uh, was my grandma's house, and uh, my, grandma, my grandma and grandpa, they've had it for probably 35, maybe 40 years. And uh, my grandpa died 20 years ago, and when he died, uh, my uncle here, just, uh, he, he, he was telling me he, he didn't do a lot in terms of mourning or dealing with my grandpa dying. He was just angry and upset. He didn't allow himself to feel it and then um, you know he my, as my grandma got older she needed uh, more help and so he for the last probably for the last 10 years at least has been basically her caretaker and then um, within the last three years basically she wasn't able to be mobile and so he's helped her with everything he did everything for her so he literally 
didn't do anything for himself, it was everything for her. So what we're doing is we're getting involved in helping him um, basically have a place to stay. And, um, and it's cool because we have this opportunity to be part of this. And so we're making lots of changes around here, which are hard for him. He has a difficult time with change. And again, he's very open about it. But he's taking on the challenges and saying, I'm just, we just got to do it, we just got to do it. And each time he does it, he grows himself. He grows, he, he progresses. And it's amazing to see a lot of his anxieties and his fears getting smashed and, and thrown in the garbage by him because he wants to live differently. And so um, it's cool to be part of this. And this house is gonna be one of those where he's really attached to it. He really loves the nostalgic and the, and the, and the memories here. But he's ready for new. So um, over the next, the course of the next six months, you guys are going to see some really cool changes with this. But more importantly, some changes in him. I don't know if it's. I could go see him. I want to see him. God, oh my gosh! Oh, he's so oh sad. Oh. And I'll call you to death. Okay, tell me he his schedule. He wakes up at 5.30 and he wants to eat a.m. <laughs> and he wants to eat and drink and sometimes he pees. Okay. Well, one of the two nights I've had him. Okay. And then, <laughs> then he plays for a minute and then he's pretty good about going down. But then he'll wake up again at about 8.00. You guys are already up. But anyway, yeah. last night I said to Posey, I'm done. You're going to bed. And she just, she went and crawled in her crate. <laughs> we went out to eat with Johnny's family for Father's Day. We tried to surprise his dad and um, I called the restaurant yesterday and asked if they made reservations and they said they didn't make reservations. And I said, well, we're going to have 25 people there tomorrow. Is it do you think we're gonna be able to come in? Do you think it's gonna be a long wait? And she said, well, I'll just leave a note that says 25 people are coming at 3.30 and we'll get a table ready for you. And so um, Johnny's sister got there first and his dad and um, stepmom and his sister went in and they're like, we don't take reservations so we don't have anything for you. It's gonna be an hour and a half wait. So I'm like, I'm almost there. I'll go in and talk to her and then Johnny's stepmom went in and she talked to him and by the time I got there she's like, okay, um, we can put these tables together. You're not gonna be on the same table but you'll be right by each other. And she worked really hard to get us, to make sure that we were happy and satisfied and then in the end she was able to put a long table together so we were all able to sit at the same place. And she worked really, really hard and did such a great job. Um, and so that was so awesome. She went out of her way to make sure, she said that most of their staff had quit. They had brand new people. They didn't even know how they were able to be open today. And she said, just please be patient with your servers. We'll have a seasoned server and a brand new server. And so please just be patient with them. And they did awesome. And it was Cracker Barrel in Springville and they did such a great job great food, great service, and they just wanted to make sure, she said, what can I do to make it right? And I said, you're already doing it. You're amazing, thank you. And so I was very appreciative of all the hard work that they went through today to make sure that they fulfilled something that someone had told me, even though that wasn't their policy. So great great place to go. You're about to make me do something I really don't want to do. My diet is ruined. <laughs> I hope you're happy. <laughs> My diet is ruined. I'll go back to it tomorrow, but until then, I'm so happy I got to use that. He's so cute. Why don't you go? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> We've made it home, and now, we need to see if Mim likes her 
new future husband. <laughs> oh, are you ready, ma'am? Here we go. We have a surprise for you, ma'am kitty. She cleans yeah, herself. Look, ma'am. Yeah, we brought you a present. Look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, I can't decide if she's going to hit he him. Has, he has his up too. Aren't they going to hit each other? Or <laughs> what? He's like, I've never seen a naked cat before. What is this? <laughs> that cat has no fur. What is going on here? She's yeah. like, Okay, she's I'm got him. She's getting. She's growling. She's like, I'm usually the dominant one. Hey, she's the, kitty, this kitty, is kitty, the same kitty, 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 kitty. She's as me. We're gonna let this little guy sleep in here tonight, and we'll put it in Mim's room so she can, <clears throat> so they can get used to each other, with safe boundaries between them. She can continue to sniff him and decide if she likes him, and he can sniff her and decide if he likes her, and there's no way they can hurt each other. Do you like him, then? You will, you will like him. I can't wait to see how Mim and Nuka do tomorrow. So come back tomorrow and see if they've gotten along yet. We love you guys, and as always, you are worth it. Bye.